Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at TrueGlyph available for the iPhone and the iPad. Open it up and it logs us in with our account that we created and brings us into the play section. This is where we're going to be presented with a glyph and we're going to be asked to pick a tag. So down at the bottom of the screen you see I have two different options. I have a marionette or dependence and I need to choose the word or tag that best suits this glyph. So all I have to do is tap on the thumbs up and this is going to vote for that tag. So just tap thumbs up and then it brings me in a new glyph and I'm going to have to pick another tag. Now once you pick a select number of tags, you're going to be able to earn some different badges, which we're going to go over some badges here in a little bit. So right here we have a couple different images. We'll go ahead and tap on our tag that we think it is, and we'll go through a few of these just so you can see the process of it. Some of these words are really close and similar, so you're going to need to pick the best image. So now that we've actually picked a few glyphs, let's go ahead and tag some. Come into the tag section at the bottom and this is going to show me a glyph and I need to actually tag this. So what is this to me? Tap this plus button, it's going to bring up your keyboard and you're going to give it a few different tags. We can give it up to three. So now I've added in three tags, I'll go ahead and tap done and now I've tagged that glyph and it's going to present me with another one. Go ahead and tap done, and now I've tagged that glyph. Now the last area is actually draw. This is where we're going to be presented with a tag, and then we're going to have to go ahead and draw what that word means. So if I tap in the top right hand corner where the pencil icon is, I can either type in my own word or give a new word if I cannot draw this one that's already here. So this one split, we'll go ahead and tap on draw, and let's, let's just draw a piece of paper that actually has a tear in the middle and then we'll draw an arrow, letting them know that's what we want for split. Well, if we feel that's okay, go ahead and tap let it fly, and it's gonna draw that griff and put it into the actual system for other people to vote on and tag. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there are badges, so tap on the more, and then we're gonna see these badges here. So I have drawing badges, games, and tagging. So the more I draw, the more I'm gonna earn badges, the more that I actually tag, and the more that I play, I'm gonna earn badges. So I can type in here, I see my current one, hand signals, I have 19 points, and I have a cave painting, which is going to be my next one. Tap on owned, I see my current one is hand signals, my next badge will be cave painting. If I come into the game section, bow and arrows is the current one. I've maxed this one out, so I have all of the badges that are available. And then if I do tagging, I'm currently on grunting and I'm trying to do Mimcry. And if I tap on owned, you see I have a few different badges here. So currently this is available for iOS, but Android and Windows phones are currently in development. And what you can actually do is come into the web app. So if we go to trueglyphapp.com, you can sign in with your account and you can't create glyphs, but what you can actually do is vote and tag on glyphs and this will earn you badges. So once those actual apps launch for your platform, you already have the badges in your account. And all you're gonna be able to do now is actually draw on some glyphs. So once again, this application is called True Glyph. If you like it, pick it up in the App Store for your iPhone and iPad.